Hello guys, this is Andrew from Monkey Visual and this video is basically a simple light tutorial where we'll be lighting this set to achieve this result and the project files are available to download for free so there will be two versions we'll have a finished version which is this one and a starting version I mean, the one that you are going to use for this tutorial and it will be there will be the asymmetry version available as well so you can download them for free uh something you need to know is that this is not a ray tracing tutorial there won't be any type of ray tracing here since i don't work with ray tracing yet you know because my limitations on my gpu but it's pretty much uh pre-calculated lighting the thing that we are going to work with it so we're gonna achieve this clean white lighting set okay so let's begin with this okay when you open the project for the first time this is what you get basically it's just like an empty set that I just created for this tutorial as I said available uh, download is available for free um okay okay i like to start by adding some spotlights to my scene so i can have like an overall overall light color so by the way the set is already the set has already the material so you don't have to add them but i like to add the spot and work with the with the parameters so uh, there are three types of light, which are static. Static means that they are totally pre-calculated. You cannot modify them in, at runtime. So we have also stationary. Stationary means that you can treat the light color and intensity at runtime. Even they are pre-calculated and movable means that they are totally real time, which means that it's not pre-calculated. So let me set the, the stationary and basically i use the stationery for like the main light so i can tweak the 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 color and the intensity at runtime time or modify later so i like to disable also cast shadows i mean increase the intensity here i'm going to duplicate it with alt and you click and drag you can duplicate it all automatically by pressing alt so I just created three of them, as you see. Oh, something you need to know is that the stationary lights can be only four per scene. So you cannot have more than four, okay? Let me just untick cast shadow. Because I don't intend to use the shadow for this. Okay. So you can see it's unlit. You can see the set has all this material, but see it's black because there isn't any light. Okay, let's see. Good. Let me just move this there and rotate it so I can have so I can have light at the ceiling. Take the shadows, increase the intensity, and move it down. All right, good. So this is how it looks so far. The you see, I'm getting the light. Now it's time to build it. So I'm gonna click there and just. I just need to build the let me change the light quality to preview and then build the light only. I just said to to preview because I just want to see like an overall lighting. So let's wait for it. Okay, our our light is already built. This is what we got so far. This clean white set, as you can see, because of the bounces of the light. Maybe you can have this color black. So it just set the material to white, as you can see there. You just click on the this magnifier, and then you you should have this black. You just pick that one white, and you just click on the arrow in the material slot. Okay, so this is basically the set that we got. Let me see. So we add many bounces from the glow illumination. Now it's time to add a post process volume, so we can treat the global illumination. You click. Set it to infinite, you know, to affect the whole scene. Then, let's see, okay, we got here. So now, as you can see, you can modify the color of the overall global illumination just for styling purposes, you know. So and also the intensity. So basically, this is just for styling purposes. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, let me pick this line. As I said, uh, after calculated, you can modify the intensity of the stationary lamps, as you can see there. If we're static, you couldn't do that. But since they're stationary, you can do you can modify the intensity and the color only. If you move them, you will need to recalculate it again. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Uh, just quickly scanning the scene, looking for the, seeing the contact shadows. You can see them. Um, it's okay. Good. Uh, they look pretty good. Uh, yes, I, I like them. Okay. But let me just check the. Okay. Let's go to like map. Okay, like map intensity. So this is basically where you modify like the quality of the pre-calculated light as you can see these squares you can change them to a higher resolution which means it will be a higher image and longer you know uh, building time so let's see it. i like to set this to a higher resolution to have like more quality contact shadows let's see you said this I just tend to set them just where for important parts like floor and walls but not for small objects i don't tend to modify them again this is not like the only way to work with it it's basically the way i work so let me just set this to production because i like how this is going so far so i need to set this okay let's go to work settings and as you can see we got the light mass is to modify the lower illumination we got the, stat the static lighting scale this should the lower, I mean, it's the more quality. So I just need to set it to 0.5. The lighting bounces to 10. And the skylight bounces is when you're using these skylights. It's, you know, there's sitting in the sky outside. I'm not using it. So I don't, I don't need it. Okay, so basically let's set to the indirect light and quality to 2 and the injury light is muted we need you need to go in small step because it will take really long to calculate so i'm just set to 1.15 and yes uh, there we go now we're ready to reveal our light let me just say oh, let's build our light set to production oh, let's build the light All right, our light is ready. So as you can see, we got higher, higher quality contact shadows there. You know, we got the shadows there, and yeah, so far I like how it how it looks. But some you can see here that we got some neons or emissive materials, and also the screens, but they are not affecting the scene. I mean, they are not bouncing any light. So what we can do, we can just you know. Since they are static, we can just, as you can see there, we got another one. We can just select them. Let's select all the emits light. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much, yes, I got them. Uh, another one. Okay. So I want them now, you know, to to emit from its emissive so you just go to the detail panel where you can see in lighting you just select where it says use emissive for static light so w that will make them to emit you know to calculate the light that they emit from the emissive material so but after that you might need to rebuild your light again so let's rebuild Okay, our light is already built and it has the emissive bounces, but oh well, I don't like them. Oh, they have an issue with the normals, but they will be fixed on the version that you have, so you won't have that issue. So basically, as you can see, if I wanted to have like higher contact shadow from there, I just set this to a higher number in the light map resolution, but you don't have that issue. So let me just for this one, I'm just gonna uh disable the emission 
you know, or decrease it. It's, yeah, you can increase or decrease the intensity. So let me just decrease it and rebuild our light, okay? Okay, guys, as you see, I just decreased the intensity, but I don't like it. Basically, you won't have that issue. As I said, there's a normal issue that will be fixed in the set that you downloaded. But for now, I'm just going to disable disable intensity. You can see we got our bounces here. And now what we can do is, de is add light decoration. You go to the blueprints folder. You see the lighting, I just added those blueprints there that you can just drag and drop to the scene to give you like, I don't know, some styling, like those movable heads that actually are not movable, but basically you can blueprint them to make them movable, but they are really easy, easily customizable. So you just go to the detail panels and you will have uh, parameters like, you know, like colors. And also we got the rotation for this. And the intensity for the mission set to 25, so you can have the glow. There you go. Now what we can do is just let's add some of them, you know, to decorate. Feel free to add them when whatever you want. So go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so I just throw it a bunch of them randomly. You can totally freestyle with them and uh, they will give you a really good touch to your scene. You also have these beams, uh, like the movables. They're actually not movable, but you can just animate them. So, but yes, uh, they will get also a really good touch to your scene. Uh, you need to bake the light because, you know, they are they have a missing material that needs to that they, they emit also to affect the glow illumination. So you just build a light. Okay, uh, as you see here, also, also forgot to mention that you have in the lighting folder, uh, you have the this decal that can help you as well to, to decorate your scene. You can do the same, just <laughs> throw a bunch of them. Basically they are customizable as the light as well. So basically, yes, you have the emissive intensity for the emissive material. They also have a sort of light component. So yeah, you just, they are they're, they're like stickers. Uh, they stick to the surface. So you need to rotate it, you know, to the face normal. So also you need to decrease the size, but be careful, you need to unlock them and just decrease it in wide axis and the C axis. You, you should not decrease that in X axis because you know there's a bounding box that when the bounding box hit the surface, it will, will project the decal. So be careful with that. Okay, as you can see, if you decrease the X size, it will decrease the, the, the that axis of the the bounding box okay so this is how our scene looks so far uh, all right now we're going to give you a final touch uh, we're going to select the post process volume and we're going to set the exposure to my brightness and match brightness to one one that's the way i set it one and then you can just uh you no know, increase or decrease using the exposure compensation which is this parameter here just increase it or decrease it to your likes okay um, a little bit more okay good i like that one minus 0 0.5 you go and save it and also let's go to bloom my favorite and let's set this method to convolution so we got now this bloom effect like it so uh yeah so pretty pretty looking pretty good so far so we got these lights here so we can just decrease the intensity so it doesn't affect the bloom so much but the light intensity they are movable actually but yeah uh, I like so far how it's looking. We also got these screens. You just need to select them. 
as you see in the second slot we got the screen material that you just need to change the texture parameter for it and set it to whatever you want this is basically how i set it uh, okay let me just um uh, we can also add some reflection sphere captures so we're going to you know, to help the reflection we just had a main one you know that covered the whole scene and also we just duplicated and moved it, moved it where we need more you know detailed reflections like in front of the screen remember with alt you just drag and then just duplicate it then move it to where you have like more detailed reflection increase the radius okay alt and duplicate it you see it okay we go again all right good after you add them you need to build a reflection capture you just go to your build menu and then you just just build reflection capture you see okay um yep this is how it seems looking so far okay guys so this is all for this tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you like it the project files basically well basically they said it's available for free but i don't mind if you explore the store <laughs> so i'll be working on more sets for it as well as more tutorial guys so thank you so much and take care bye bye